entering the other world. Ah, beautiful. It's wonderful to see you tonight. All of you. The many of you that are here within you. This is poetic alchemy. And poetry, life, hope, these swirling suns we call our smiles. This is the alchemical that we carry. Poetry begins in this moment. Poetry often happens when everything else does. Poetry is color and movement and time and community. The decrease of crowds, philosophy began in poetry. Poetry is the language by our emotions. Before we begin our show, we'd ask you to make sure to mute your cell phones. Feel free to take photos and to take video. However, please do mute your phones. Thank you for attending, and I hope you enjoyed our show. invite our ancestors' presence today. The San Jose State community recognizes that the present day Muwekma Ohlone tribe is comprised of all of the known surviving American Indian lineages of aboriginal to the San Francisco Bay region, who trace their ancestry through the mission Santa Clara, San Jose, and Dolores. Furthermore, the San Jose Strait community recognizes that the university is established within the Tamian alone speaking tribal ethno historic territory. The San Jose State University community also recognizes the importance of this land to the indigenous Muwekma Ohlone people of this region and consistent with our principles of community and diversity strives to be good stewards on behalf of the Muwekma Ohlone tribe whose land we occupy. In order to be good stewards, we must call in all the directions and all the forces. We call in fire, water, air, and earth. We call in north, south, east, and west. We call in the above, the below, the between and what's within. We move to transform. We hope to move you into transformation. Welcome in. called All the Cars I Drove Off Cliffs. Was this not what you meant when you set out for adventure? To break the plastic off the handles, to shatter lights on the way out, to break off into the air between grace and destruction. to push against the earth until it leaves our feet. Finding our own place of negative space between the dirt and the water. My teeth caught on seatbelt seats 
my foot on the gas. Rubber turns in circles, and the cylinders are screaming. Headlights reaching out to God. Or to stretch your legs for a Sunday drive to the park where you might bask in overcast, casting your shadow on another parking spot. It is too late for us to wish. Join the line of traffic fodder for us to freely drive. Then we must drive no longer. A racehorse run out of track, like Icarus with lower expectations. Jackson Pollock of twisted metal. Straight from the factory. Baby Blue, 1948, hers. Matt Blue, painted over faded black. Painted over. Matt Black, painted over. Blue faded metal. Windows hazed over like overcooked rock candy wrapped up in blankets folded over fire on Christmas morning tarnished handles ready to break under the heat of breathing engines too heavy to anchor a boat without pulling it under water seizing pruning Shriveling the chipped wooden box in the back seat, still holding the idea of a man that didn't make it underground. If I find somewhere new to go without roads, to go without the sounds of eyes that blink twice in a row, then maybe I'm more than gasoline, more than blood that engines burn, more than the unearthed bones that turn the wheels of faster until the walls disappear. Exhaust. Out through the pipes, it moves as a last breath pushes its way into whatever takes it. It's grabbed by the air like a feather caught by the string of a balloon let go. Milky spirit ignored. Floats pouring out into the sky. Watching other seeds of natural aspiration. And what am I but a place where minerals meet? The housing of rooms for endless explosions. Just reliable enough to keep things quiet 
like a moon that only moves when covered by the clouds. What am I but a box eventually broken? With the death defined by numbers on a screen. A mountain collapsing on its wheels. Pushed out to the edge of a Fibonacci curve. on tape. If I followed the birds on tape to a place that runs in cycles, will you be there to turn away, to turn the key that leads to other places? I wonder if there's ways to watch it all I carved out my wings of concrete, you could not use my lungs, but instead I sit, I sit and watch you watch the reruns, no longer caring where the story takes us, as my words become chirps, I cannot help but wonder what your cage does to you. I miss the dinosaurs. I crashed into this universe yesterday. My triumph bristled the clouds and eroded dew drops. Starburst crackle of lightning, white bright noise. I wailed so you would hear me, staking claim on my pocket of grass and vegetal whispers. I wailed so you could hear me, staking claim on my pocket of sky and mountain where they meet and French and soil hot liquid core Magma mustering much magnificence. The dinosaurs wept when they met me. We were crystalline colliding, rubbing the prismatic web with fingers, smelling the aroma of cores that had finally realized. Three layers will never be enough. I did not choose the manufacturer of my pieces, the loneliness of the vessel I arrived in. I wish 
wish my grandmother taught me how to play mahjong. The bottom of my shoe plays mahjong with the rain-soaked leaves every Thursday. They greet one another with a hug and sit on opposite sides of the same splinter-ridden picnic table. My shoe insists that the leaves begin the game. The leaves respond with silence. You brought the tiles. You sewed your hair into the mat. You invited me. You came. You invited me. You came. You invited me. You came. The leaves shrug off their rain-soaked silence, and the game begins. Three tiles remain, and the leaves stand up from their seat return to the earth. that crash against your eyelids. The spiders like to settle into the walls of your lungs, spinning their webs while you maintain something close to slumber. Sand gets stuck where the upper and lower lid meet. There are dandelions that break apart and scatter in the wind. Their papai stall in midair and watch you. They know which bedroom is yours. The spiders conspire with the papai. They meet on the shores of your eye land and discuss their favorite topic. Listen closely, I bet you can hear them now. What do you think they're saying? Is it hot in here? Your skin feels too tight. Are they talking about you? Is it hot in here? Your skin is too tight. Why are you sitting like that? Is it hot in here? Are you breathing too loud? One day the air will run out. Is it hot in here? Remember, are they talking about you? When you chipped your tooth on a butter knife in 2009, is it hot in here? Your skin feels too tight. Are they talking about you? They're talking about you. Are your socks on inside out? ceramic, cracked porcelain skin clinks softly against your silica skin. Lupin petal crumbs collect in the craters we create. When your arm cradles my cranium, my fingers create tide pools. When I reach for you, 
my fingers create tide pools, pull you to me. Basking in the stoplight sun, siren symphony, we beat the odds and make our halves even. We beat the odds and make our halves even. Make our halves even. Are you here, Neoprene? Why are you here? Foot, human foot, coated in neoprene. Why are you here, you foot, in me, in neoprene, polychloroprene, invented in spring, offloaded in fall? Supreme, DuPont, O'Neill, all of your names, all of your names. We have seen so many come and go. Burn, burn point of 260 degrees Celsius. Kicking, always kicking, for what, foot? There's somewhere you need to be? There's somewhere not here? For you, body, we are a body as you are a body. You coated in neoprene, us coated in nothing, kelp. You're kicking as though it were a sin, as though it were a thing you could pluck, a thing you could pull. Pull it out then, kick, kick. Why are you kicking, body? is not what we do. Creature neoprene, creature floating inside us, outside us, sins. There are no sins here. There is only survival. Do not name it. We will help you. Do not know it. Just stay. Here, we will help you, you wrapped in your neoprene. never welcome. If we told you you were welcome, that was not us, that was you speaking for us. And if we tell you today I am the watery jaws of a translucent beast, if we tell you today I am the watery jaws of a translucent beast, that was you wishing we were other than rage. Do you know of rage? Of course you do. You know of everything. Speak now about this rage. Speak about it with your voice so clear, clear as we were. Rage, this last wave arching up and over, this last wave growing like you have never seen a creature grow higher and higher above you. Rage is you watching this. All you ever do 
is watch. Say goodbye now. Time to go in now. The glowing sun has set now. Time to retreat. Rage, do you know of rage? Of course you do. You know of everything. Wave one more. Wave, this is my last wave. Wait, please, these are not your waves. Rage, you are. Rage, you should not be here anymore. Rage, we are. I should not be here anymore. Rage, us dying, killing you for it. Butterfield, February 20th, 1979, through December 24th, 2021. We do not aim to sting, but it was cloudy that day. Cloudy within, cloudy without. There was not a foot to be seen, and when we are churning like that, we are churning, chopping around, and we bite to survive. Hear us. We bite to survive in the big shadow of the big rock in that stretch of sun right past the big dark, tearing through sky, tearing through us in slashes of bright waving beams that disappear as they wave and come back as they wave. And there was your foot, creature, neoprene, creature, and we knew nothing of you. Hear us, we knew nothing of you, and we bit because we did not know. We bit, and the water swept red and plumed red around us, red within us, red rushing, red thrashing, and you red. And none of this ever would have happened. Hear us, none of this ever would have happened if you had stayed home, creature, neoprene. Creature, foam board creature in sparkling foam blood burial. If you had stayed home, where it was quiet and warm, and still with small lights on unreal trees. But you loved us. We were your home. And so you joined us, and now we will do our best to keep you. Light. There are waves and they are light. There is sand and it is light. There is slippery algae green on magenta, coral rocks who spiral into themselves in the algae is light and the warm drops dripping off the algae are light. The cliff towering wet before us is light. There's a gigantic stony staircase of light winding toward the sky and the sky is erupting in light. There are a thousand uneven steps and each one is encased in light. There are a thousand uneven steps, often overtaken in the tide, and a thousand grains of sand meandering up and down, a thousand steps, and each one is encased in light. There is something at the bottom and something at the top, and all meridians are glimmering points of light. If we could fly, if we could fly, if salt water were air, if gravity gave way on this reef and the fluorescent blue anemones lifted, if we knew what it was to see from the eyes of the great white egret, 
If we knew what it was to see from the eyes of the great white egret, to see from her eyes, to feel her immaculate flapping through, if we swallowed the sun and the sun tasted only of light, if we swallowed the sun and the sun tasted only of light, the sun the sun tasted only of light. boxing used to describe a fighter who utilizes a style of combat which necessitates putting one's head down and relentlessly oppressing opponents straight on without retreat. While the invisible current within a boxing ring often pulls fighters into circling one another, the Mexican style fighter powers through in a straight line like a shark. It's move forwards or go down trying. These rings become back alley scraps. Professional warriors squaring up face to face inside squared circles, swinging stone hands, hoping to crack jaws of steel because it's not enough to just win. Hey, you gotta knock that fool out. And no dancing around the ring, no bachata, no sidestepping. Always initiate the action. Constantly be pushing forwards and attacking until the opponent's back foot is backing up against the ropes, exchanging blows until one's will overcomes the other or until the bell rings. This is who I am. The kid who always stayed up till 4 a.m. Writing, creating, grinding my metaphorical sleeves all roll up like a low rider in May. All roll up like a low rider in May, cause I'm a smooth talking, show stopping tornado of unbridled joy and tough skin. The kind of caramel flavored melanin known as brown pride, which is something that can't be taught. Mexican style is simply in how you walk. We boom into every room like Canelo entering the arena. Focus like the center of a loaf is as the syllable Bulls flow off my tongue like shoulder rolls. The tip of my pen strikes the page sharp as De La Hoya's jab. I float like a butterfly protecting my dream. My one, two stings like a bee. I'm a 5'11 middle finger to white supremacy. Watch me, Julio Cesar Chavez, these words which uppercut through the air whenever I salsa. Resisting oppression by unapologetically being myself. A brown-eyed act of rebellion, myself. A brown-eyed act of rebellion to stay three punches ahead in order to triple G my way through a place that feels less and less like a country and more like a ring with ropes, a referee, and a matchup where we always seem to be the underdog. A matchup where we always seem to be the underdog to us. America often becomes a boxer who wears brass knuckles under its gloves, weighs in heavy, hits below the belt, and then claims equality. But this is not a poem about struggle. This poem has no borders. There are no red zones sprayed over these blocks, verses, or rhymed lines. This poem will not be gentrified. I wrote this for my father. This is a love poem. This is a love poem for my cousins, my friends, my father, my grandparents, all of East LA and Riverside and Whittier and El Paso. We are warriors that are always moving forwards with reckless abandon because Mexican style is all we know. We may often find ourselves knocked down, but never out until the bell rings 
We rise and fall as one because the only a way for us to truly move forwards is together. Effortless down Highway 20. Soaring gold, breaking through a sinking sunset, sipping cranberry juice straight from the bottle, lip syncing the song Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. He breathes deeply as lyrics begin to stepping with the breeze, whisking through his fitted white t shirt, tattoos on shaved head reflect pink clouds while the relaxed face reflects upon the cool vibes running freely through his mind. This Chicano homie goes viral. Folks all over the internet start riding skateboards, drinking cranberry juice, and blasting 70s music. He becomes a commercial, an online craze. And I can't remember the last time I saw a Mexican guy, a Chicano homie, on screen allowed to be this happy. See, in movies, guys dressed like him sit on the corner. White t-shirt, a loaded weapon. White t-shirt, a loaded weapon. Tattoos, spelling out the names of drugs and grade and violence. In a TV show, he's a cellmate. Another Chicano homie. Handcuffing his personality to a stereotype and comrade leaping his way, obviously any real emotions. A drop token from the wallet of a multi-million dollar industry dedicated to creating the next viral moment simply as a means to sell ads. And this lone Chicano homie wouldn't have gotten past the first audition, only thought to go viral in a fist fight or as extras cast aside unless the role was to express pain. And I love the movies of my childhood. La Bamba, Mi Familia, Stand and Deliver, Selena. These stories, they're important. The representation is authentic. But I'm just sick of seeing the Chicano homies not reach the end credits. I'm sick of brothers on their knees hollering their grease into the street. If I see one more repeat of a tragic shooting related to neighborhood violence, one more abuelita crying as she drops that wine glass in slow motion, one more overly aggressive law enforcement officer, I'm writing my own damn movie. I want these Chicano homies weightless. I want these Chicano homies weightless, soaring around sunsets and sunglasses with no chances of falling and rising so high that the boxes that they've been kept inside look like solved Rubik's cubes. I want to see soft sides and strong sides and weird sides, Chicano homies with emotions deeper, more fleshed out than the shades of brown surrounding their smiling, carefree faces. Names like Apodaca, Sanchez, Juarez, being the ones who solve the mysteries and make the million dollar bank deals and knock down those game winning shots or skateboard at sunset. Redefining everything we've been shown it means to be a Chicano homie. A Chicano homie. A Chicano homie.
all this rusted junk flying emancipated from space from time the marble white rooms stretch so high the decay of generation always just about to get a ticket a spot always obsolete feel my life in my hands, too light, too shaky, like the back wheels are gonna just lift off the road, slide away into the sky, and the front wheels will cling to a line like little kids on monkey bars. Unwanted blood breaking out and through up the skin but nowhere to go, up the skin but nowhere go. The world is on fire. Runny manufacturers sewed your hair into pink clouds, rings like Saturn are crowned out of yarn and beads, riding microscopes, some waking dream of a nuclear future most stoic of fours stretch fluorescent delete unearthed bones decay of carefree faces revolving compulsion until the walls disappear the light revolves he leaves the masks of respond sunken ships quake Loop in petal crumbs, think of thinking. May the powers here not make me silent until I say this curse. Myself strong in the motel mirror. Thank you.